This video will introduce critical theory as a research paradigm. When a critical theorist thinks about ontology, which is the nature of reality, they're looking for power relations. So for a critical theorist, reality is a product of these power relations. This necessarily has an impact on the sorts of things that they'll study. Critical theorists are almost always looking at social phenomenon. It'd be really hard for a critical theorist to study, I don't know, neutrinos in the Large Hadron Collider. But because critical theory is focused on social relations, they have what Kevin Wolby would describe as a truncated ontology. And that's basically saying the terrain that they're interested in investigating is the social, and the social is a product of power relations. So how would critical theory think about epistemology, which is the way we know things? Knowledge is political, and it's laden with values. It's subjective, and researchers' values will frame the nature of inquiry. For this reason, critical theorists are often inquiring with a view to transform something. It's not enough just to observe, but it's also to recognise the moral obligations of a researcher to make things better. In part, this is because critical theory's great-great-grandfather was Karl Marx, who argued in his thesis on Feuerbach, the philosophers have only interpreted the world in various ways, the point is actually to change it. This doesn't mean that all critical theorists are Marxists or communists or anything like that, but it is a recognition that critical theory has a strong element of social justice that underpins it, and a desire to change the world for the better. The archetype drawn from science fiction of a critical theorist might be Princess Leia, who at all times in Star Wars is fighting to overthrow the Empire or the First Order in the more recent films. The sense of values that underpin this kind of social research, it's one of critique. Critical theorists do not identify as neutral observers. It's one of social justice because they're seeking to make transformative change to improve things. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's really easy to choose two movies to identify as critical theorist movies. Thor Ragnarok has post-colonial themes written right throughout it. When Kate Blanchett's character Heller is explaining that Asgard was an imperial force that was conquering the galaxy, the colonialist themes are really apparent. And there's a political subtext to the film as well. Taika Waititi, the director, uses immigrant song throughout the film. The Asgardians end up as immigrants by the end of the film, with their home destroyed and then exiled onto a sort of space boat. And Black Panther is famously a critical film, not only because of its name, with its connotations for civil rights movements in the 1960s, but also because it's the first MCU film to have a black lead actor. Black Panther inverts the colonial relationship. It positions Wakanda as the most advanced civilization on the earth, and it's at the heart of Africa. Critical theorists might look at a city like London and see it as a site of power, a global megacity from which imperialism spread and from which Western power continues to push out into the world. A critical theorist will see the city, but they'll also note the social relations within that city, the inequality of rich and poor within the city, differentials around voting for issues like Brexit, and they'll notice the differentials between the city of London and the rest of the world, and how that power inequality plays out. They'll also have ways to transform London and its relationship with other parts of the world for the better in socially just ways.